Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about graph coloring as an optimization problem. We discussed it as a kind of a problem in which we would want to color all the nodes so that the nodes that are adjacent to each other must have different colors. Where the objective is to use as few colors as possible. Now in this scenario, the colors are basically the resources and the nodes are the devices that want to have access to those resources. So in this way, graph coloring can be used for optimizing different kinds of problem. For example, making a schedule where different classes can be organized into a limited number of rooms or few resources can be utilized among multiple devices. So in order to let computers solve the problem of graph coloring, we need to use some sort of algorithm. So let's just look into the first of such algorithms that is called greedy algorithm. So it's the greedy graph coloring algorithm where the first step is to present all the nodes in some order so it may be in any order and we will come back to this why ordering is very important so if we consider this particular problem that we saw earlier so we'll organize its nodes into an order without following any particular criteria so let's order them as b c d e f and a so there isn't any criteria provided for it and we may present it in any order. Now the next step is to assign a number to all the resources or the colors that we have got. So assign a number to the resources which in our case is going to be the color and then iteratively color the nodes by picking the smallest numbered color that can be used and for that as we said the rule of looking at its adjacent is going to be considered so let's just say we have so let's just say we assign one number to, to black color and we have two for red and three for blue. So these are the resources that we have numbered and these are all the nodes that we have presented in some random order. We will assign a new resource if we need it but for now let's just continue with these three resources. So using this graph that we already have, we said that we are going to start with the node B and we are going to use the least numbered color that we can use. So yes, we can use black for B because we haven't used any color at this point. So we'll color this with black. Now the next that we have in order is C and since we cannot use black for C, so we are going to pick the next lowest numbered color which in this case is red so we assign red color to to c then we have d and the lowest numbered color that d can have again is red then we move on to e and this time again the lowest numbered color that we can use is black so we'll use black to color this one then we have f for f the lowest number color that we can use is again black so we'll use black color for this one and then for A, we cannot use black or red. So the lowest number color that we can use is blue. So we'll assign a blue color to this. And we have solved this problem of graph coloring where we used three different colors. But now a problem is that if you present the same graph with different ordering of the nodes, you may require different number of colors. So therefore, greedy algorithm is not going to give you the optimum solution at all times because each time you present the nodes in different order, the number of colors they need is going to change. So it emphasizes 
that in graph coloring the most important thing is basically the ordering of the nodes in such an order that they would require the least number of nodes. Now let's use a different graph to elaborate on the problem we discussed that each time we order the nodes in different sequence we may use different number of colors. So each time we use the greedy algorithm we may come up with a different type of solution. So let's just use this example where we have node A, B, C, D and E and they are having these edges with each other. And since we may start coloring in any order, so let's say the particular order in which we have these nodes is A, E, C, D, and B. So this is the order that we have got and the colors are one for black, two for red, three for blue and let's see if we may need the fourth color. So let's just start with the black and we have to assign it to node A. So we have colored this node with black. The next we have in the sequence is E. So again we can use black for this one which is the lowest numbered color. So we'll color this one with black as well. And then the third one is C. So we cannot use black color for C. So therefore the next lowest numbered color is red. So we'll use red for C. Next on the sequence is D. Now for D we cannot use black and we cannot use red so therefore we'll have to use blue because this node D is adjacent to the two nodes that are already utilizing black and red color. Now we are left with the node B but for this node we cannot use black, red or blue because they are adjacent to the node that we are supposed to color. So all the three nodes are using the three available colors so therefore we have to introduce a fourth color which is green and this node is going to be colored into green because it cannot use the first three colors and that's how we have resolved this issue of graph coloring using four different colors. But let's just redo this problem. So let's just quickly draw it again. And this time the sequence that we are going to have is C, A, D, E and B. So this is the sequence that we have got and we will be using the same set of resources that we have got. So starting with C we can assign black color to it. So we have used black for C. Then the next on the sequence is A. So for A we cannot use black because it's adjacent to C for which we have already consumed the black color so we'll assign a red color to it which is the next with the lowest number. The next node is D. For D we cannot use black but we can use red so we'll use red over here as well. Then we have E. For E we cannot use black, we cannot use red so we'll go to blue and consume our third resource. So blue is being used for this node and then we have B. And for B we cannot use red, we cannot use black, but we can use blue. So that's how we have resolved this issue of graph coloring with three different colors. So that's the problem with the greedy coloring algorithm that it doesn't provide you any mechanism that how these nodes are going to be ordered. And when you order it by your own choice, you are going to get different answers to the same problem. But the main advantage of greedy algorithm is that it's a very efficient algorithm because we are not using any additional computation for finding the optimum order of these nodes. So it's an algorithm that is computationally very efficient. For simple problems it may come up with the same answer but if it's slightly complicated each time you change the order of nodes and it will produce a different answer. In the next video we are going to use a rather improved version of this which is the Kemp algorithm for graph coloring.